Hello and welcome to NetScout's presentation on RF propagation model calibration for RAND planning. My name is Barack Berksoy and I am the director of RF Engineering Services. RF Engineering Services is a group within the NetScout's RAND portfolio that specializes on radio propagation. On our brief presentation today, I will cover why having accurate model propagation models matter, what makes us NetScout unique in this field, and why it may be a good time to focus on model calibration now. But before I get into all of that, in case you're not really familiar with what RF propagation models are, I would like to do a brief introduction to it. RF propagation models reside within the RAND planning tools and they are the heart and soul of the tool. When accurate, they fast facilitate predictive analyses such as coverage, interference, signal to noise ratio, throughput, and many other important types of analysis that are used in decision making. Let's consider some use cases where these type of analyses are useful. Imagine you're planning on deploying a wireless network on a newly allocated frequency. Before making a rather significant investment on spectrum acquisition and network deployment, you would like to know how much it will cost to deploy such network. Planning tools help you estimate the number of sites to cover a geographic region for a given frequency. That is the budget planning use case. If you have acquired spectrum from the government and now you have to provide coverage plots justifying the use of that spectrum, planning tools provide that functionality as well. Whether you are deploying a completely new network or adding capacity to your existing network, planning tools help identify the optimal configuration for your sites to maximize performance while minimizing cost. Well, that's all great. That's a lot of important functionalities impact, impacting important decisions. But the output or accuracy of all these analyses depend on the quality of the propagation models and the accuracy of the propagation models. I, before we, I get into it, I want to make one thing clear. These planning tools that I'm talking about are actually not NetScout's software products. How we help, how NetScout can help you in this domain is by improving the accuracy of the propagation models and therefore improving the quality of analysis and decision making, decision making that you have on your RAN network. This brings us to the next segment. What is pro RF propagation model calibration? You can think of a propagation model as a box with knobs and dials that change the way that the prediction looks and behaves. For instance, you know, one knob could represent how the signal attenuates as you go further away from the site. Another knob could determine how the signal attenuates behind the building or vegetation and whatnot. So that's a propagation model. In reality, though, these knobs and dials are parameters within a mathematical formula and they change, there are hundreds of them, and they change how the signal propagation uh, prediction behaves. The calibration is a really two-step process where in the first step, we collect high quality RF ground truth measurements. And in the second step, we optimize the model parameters so that the error between the predictions and the ground truth measurements that we just collected are minimized and therefore making the models accurate. In short, the calibration is really a process of customizing and improving the accuracy of the propagation models for a given geography and frequency. So I've already stated that, you know, the, the accuracy of these models are important, but let's look at an example on how important, the magnitude of the importance. And let's go back to our budget allocation use case. If the propagation models are not accurate, they provide either over-designed or under-designed network. If the, design, the, if the network is under-designed, then the sites are put too far apart and they have coverage holes in between them. You have to add additional sites to cover those holes and you can't really do that in an efficient manner. On the opposite side, if because of 
model inaccuracies, the network is un- over-designed, then the sites are too close to each other, resulting in unnecessary capital spent and unnecessary sites in the network. In both cases, is undesirable. And on the right-hand table here, I have put in approximate cell count errors that correspond to calibration errors. And you can imagine the amount of capital that's been spent on network deployment, these percentages equate to um, rather large, large amounts. And uh, that's where the importance of modeling comes and this type of decision making. So in the next section, I wanna discuss why NetScout is best positioned to, uh, to provide you the most accurate net, uh, models. First, we start out with high quality data. Having collected for more, uh, more than 30,000 CW measurements over the past 20 years, we have established and perfected proprietary processes to collect highest quality data that yields highest quality models. We also have an off-the-shelf library data available to our customers that may significantly improve cost and time to delivery for our projects. Next, we utilize a patented technique called dynamic range compensation or DRC. We use this technique to overcome a data bias that exists with traditional calibration or tuning, as some call, The typical symptom of this bias is an overestimation of the cell edge. Models created with NetScout's DRC method mitigate this issue, and therefore, they result in more accurate predictions. Within NetScout, our team consists of subject matter experts that are solely focused on model calibration. We we perform it at an unmatched scale, near thousands of models generated per year, and therefore, Because of this experience and volume, we know about both the common and uncommon pitfalls of the process, and we know how to perform it efficiently. In addition to that, because we are tool, equipment, model type agnostic in the domain, we champion for the best solution for our customers instead of pushing for a certain product. And beyond all the patent techniques and proprietary techniques we employ, our customer engagement is designed to be from start to end as low impact as possible to our customers. Our customers frequently comment on how the project effortlessly progress from start to, start to end. Before I wrap up, I want to discuss why now is a great time to invest in accurate models. With ever-increasing mobile data demand and mainstream adoption of 5G, FCC and similar government bodies are making new frequencies available for wireless communications. The best time to use RF propagation models is while proactively designing a network before the deployment. The same government bodies, while making these frequencies available, are increasing the scrutiny and service providers' accountability on efficiently using the spectrum. That means, what that means is increased emphasis on accurately reporting coverage and throughput maps. The increased complexity of 5G networks, firstly, from the anchor deployment perspectives, and secondly, the the propagation challenges in high band millimeter wave frequencies increases the importance of having accurate models. And lastly, Improved imaging technologies that are available now render high quality GIS data to be more readily available and more affordable, allowing carriers to have more accurate models than they previously had access to. So if any of these scenarios, any of these drivers resonate to you, or if you believe someone in your organization might be interested in hearing more about our product propagation modeling practice, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of our account managers to set up a meeting where we can go into more details. With that, I would like to thank you for your time and attention and uh, have a wonderful day.